Hey guys, how are we doing today? Um, I've been getting uh, questions recently about uh, the best method to drill holes in glass. And this is a method that I discovered, uh, oh shoot, years ago. And for some reason I don't really hear anybody else talking about it, uh, despite it being such a really simple and accurate way to cut holes in your tank. So instead of uh, just typing about it online, I figured I'd make a video to kind of illustrate what I'm talking about a little better. So. Uh, first things first, the elephant in the room. Um, this is what happens when your nitrates jump from uh, about 5 parts per million to 70 in the course of a couple days. Long story short, you're going to get a lot of loss of skin and coloration. So, having said that, now I'm back to where I need to be and um, everything's cooking along well. Looks good actually. But um, anyways, uh, <clears throat> okay, so enough about that. Now back to cutting holes. So here's what we got. Super simple. Um, what you're going to do is get a thin piece of wood. This one in particular is, I mean, if you can judge based off the size of my finger here, it's, uh, it's less than a quarter inch. And uh, what you can do is you're going to take your overflow. So here's the one I have. It's acrylic right there. And um, <clears throat> you actually just set this side down on it. And then take a pencil, it's kind of hard, you need a short one, and draw the holes on the inside on this wood. So you're going to line it up, positioning the height how you want it. For me, it kind of worked out like that. And then you draw the circles, and um, basically what you do at that point is you go back in with a wood saw uh, that's about the same, um, and cut those holes out. So. One thing that you can also do too, if you don't have a wood hole saw, um, is use one of the, you can use the diamond bit for it. Uh, the wood hole saw is a little better because it actually has a lead as opposed to this is just a circle. Uh, so you have more control over where the hole's going. Um, so you can use these, but just like when you're cutting the glass without that lead, it's gonna bounce around a little bit on you. Um, so, you know, whichever method you do uh, choose to use is, is perfectly fine as long as you get those holes exactly where you like it. Also, another benefit to wood, uh, cutting your, your holes in here for a template, is that if you make a mistake, you just scrap it and start all over. You, you know, this is really cheap wood, it's no big deal. So, what you do is, you'll use this kind of as the uh, uh, guide towards the top of your trim here, or if you have a rimless, you can just have it flush with the, the edge of the tank. Um, and what that does is allow you to get a nice, you know, flat horizontal uh, installation of your overflow as well. It's a very controlled situation. Uh, and once you have your templates made up, uh, you're ready to go. Uh, so for this right here, this was actually for my uh, return pump. I still need to paint that sucker. It's mostly covered in coralline, it looks, but anyways. Um, that was three quarter inch PVC and then these are the, the one inch PVC holes for the actual overflow box itself. Um, so now that you have your holes and your templates and everything done, uh, you get your masking tape, tape it up. Uh, I just had thin masking tape on hand. They make the thicker stuff that you can get. Uh, it might provide a little bit of extra support, uh, but you know, I, I've drilled them with just the thin stuff too. So what you're going to do is now that you've got those made is you're going to put that saw in there, get a little water running on it, and literally pull the trigger. Done. Go give it time and it'll go through and cut your hole. So the benefit of this is, as you notice, because there's no lead on this, when you go to do your hole, which a lot of people recommend kind of coming in at an angle to get a footing and then slowly pushing it down, but it's still, the chances of it bouncing around on you, it's too much for me to risk. I don't want the, whole, the, the scratches or anything like that. I want to be able to put it in there and know it's exactly going there. So what this does is it keeps that, that little, your glass diamond bit from bouncing around. It's just literally, if you can pull a trigger, you can cut you know, exact holes in your tank. Um, I mean, that's pretty much it. Uh, two things to keep in mind, again, have running water on it. If not, you're going to shatter uh, potentially or, or, you know, damage the glass. Um, and also as well, most people when they drill tanks, they have them on their side. Now this tank's already set up, so, uh, you know, I can't really do that. Uh, but basically, assuming that this side right here is on, on the ground and the tank's on its side, you're going to want to put a towel underneath where you're cutting. Reason being is when you finally cut that glass all the way through, that little piece is going to drop and it can potentially uh, scratch or crack your glass. So 
Uh, I think that just about covers it, but like I said, I mean, it, it, it doesn't get any simpler than this, folks. Uh, there really is zero skill involved in it. Um, you just, if you can cut holes in wood, you can cut holes in glass. That's it. It's that simple. So uh, either way, let me know if you have any questions, and we'll talk to you all soon. Bye.